This is CNN with Jamie Cooper. And good Wednesday morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is a live edition of ZNN. Let's get it cranking. The first portion of this program brought to you, as always, by the Athens News Courier, as we just talked about their Facebook this morning. That's pretty interesting. What weird substance have you eaten and enjoy eating on a daily basis? Limestone recount delayed. Now, I'll talk more about this later on this morning, too. But a historic moment in Limestone County's election history will wait another day. Jim Burden, the local Republican Party chairman, and a group of volunteers were set to begin at 8 a.m. Tuesday morning, but the recount was postponed until this morning after they did not receive a disk containing an application that would allow the group to count and tally the votes by computer. Also, News Curry reports this morning, Art on the Square registering artists to show an annual event. Art on the Square Art League is calling artists to apply for the fifth annual Art on the Square Art Fest, which will be from 10 a.m. to 4, September 11th, on the Courthouse Lawn in downtown Athens. All right, according to the News Curry this morning, the fireworks display for the 4th of July is back on. As you know, Reliance Bank has done this for the past several years. They have withdrawn for this year. According to the Spirit of Athens this morning, they will coordinate the presentation of fireworks for the upcoming Independence Day holiday. Reliance Bank Firecracker Festival featured 4th of July fireworks display for seven years, beginning in 02, but they are no longer going to be doing it. So now the city of Athens is doing it, and according to Dr. Mayor Dan Williams, who I saw yesterday down at the Chamber Coffee, said they would be, Spirit of Athens would actually be coordinating the fireworks. should be on July 5th. That's the Monday following July 4th. Obviously, it'll be that night at sundown. And I didn't know this. I was talking to Professor Frank Scripture this morning. He didn't know this either. Athens State's got a bass fishing club. Man, Rick just didn't know that. It says here, from an early age, this lady, Victoria Bailey, has been uh, tagged along with her father on fishing adventures and now fishes with her husband, Chew Charlie. She loves to fish. But at two members of Athens State, this is in the picture here, State University Bass Club approved their boat for a recent fishing tournament. Didn't know they had one. But that's it for the News Courier. 